Hi, welcome to Official Hot Boys. Grow your skills online with our stunning videos. We provide web development, internet hacks, Excel, and a lot more you can't wait to utilize. Remember, we do not encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided from us is only meant for educational purpose. If are new to our YouTube channel, kindly subscribe, share your reviews, and turn on the notification bell to receive exclusive content from us. All right. <clears throat> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So welcome back to Official Hot Boy. And in this brand new tutorial, I'm going to uh, I want to show you how to use Google like a pro. If I say how to use Google like a pro, like I mean how to Google, you understand? How to search for something on Google and then get the accurate answer, you understand? So uh, I'm just going to go through this tutorial, very, very straightforward. So first, uh, the first section I'm going to talk about is how to use quotation mark okay, to search for a particular phrase, okay? exact phrase so example if i want to search how to center a div okay in css all right this is it so you just go by quotation mark sorry let's go to google all right so i want to set this and then get the best best results okay so I'll just say I'll search by okay. open the quotation mark and then now I will type in how to send her send her give in services alright okay so so you can see that with this one you're going to get the accurate answer okay the, 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 the accurate answer and this is the answer so if I click here right now it's going to give me the best results for what I've searched for so if you want to search for an a for an exact phrase put in uh, the quotation marks to search for a specific phrase you understand so if I go to this okay this is it you see so this is the answer for it and then yeah, I'm getting the exact answer. So how to center a div in the body CSS code. And then this is it. This is very simple. All right, so let's go to the next step. So the next step I'm going to talk about is uh, how to search for a file type. Okay, so this one lets you search for a files of a specific file type. Okay, so what I'm trying to search is, let's say I want to search for a PDF okay, online. Okay, I want to search a PDF of uh, cyber, cyber security so this is how to go about this type file type and then now you type in pdf okay cyber security all right so then you click search all right so this one this one is going to give you the exact the the the, the solutions the PDF in this particular page okay so this is how to search for file type if you are searching for any file type make sure you type the file type then column then you search for PDF or whatever you want I hope you get it all right so let's move to the next section so in the next section you're going to use the or or okay so uh, the or operator so the or operator lets you find it helps you to find ways that contain one term or another okay so let's say i want to search for uh this javascript frameworks which is angular or react so i'll just say angular angular okay then i'll say or react right and then now let's click search so you can see here so this with this statement this statement is going to find ways that contain one term or another so he is going to search for angular or react so you can see in the url the search results you can see react here and then we can see angular i hope you get it this is how to go about with the search 
uh, searching of searching on Google. Okay, so now let's go to the next section. Now the site. I'm going to use a site. Okay, so the site allows you to perform a search in a specific site. Okay, so example, I want to search for uh, sites. Okay, then W Trace Schools. Okay, how then you see how to understand and now let's click search so you can see so this one will help you will, will help you to perform a search in a specific site you understand so now in if you go to the real tree schools and you are learning programming you will see that they have a section called how to the how to gives you uh, uh, details it's like it's like a reference you understand so when I click here it's going to take me to the how to page directly you get it all right so this is it you understand so with this so if you want to use if you want to search for something in a page use site column then the page, the website's name then you type in your statement i hope you get it all right so i'll go to the next section and then now I'm going to use the minus sign okay the minus sign so the minus sign allows you to specify ways that shouldn't appear in your in your search results so let's say I'm searching something I don't want this particular way to appear in my search result this is how to go about it let's see example inception okay and then now I say movie so I say minus movie so sorry it's movie so minus movie so right now i'm trying to say that you should search for inception and then exclude movie now let's search and see you, you, i hope you get it all right so this is it so this is very simple and then it's very easy to use all right so i'll go to the next step and then now i want to do a calculator i want to i want to do calculation in the google search okay so this is an instance calculator so i'll say eight okay divided by two and then now i'll say two plus yeah it's already there you understand so this and then you search okay this one will give you a calculator on youtube this is a calculator you can use on google you understand so with this with this one this particular code when you type it on Google Google search, you'll be able to see the calculator and use it and <clears throat> you use this calculator on YouTube, uh, Google. I hope you get it. So you can, if I say 2 plus 2 and the answer, you understand? So you can see now I'm using calculator in Google search and this is very simple and very nice. So this is the end of my video and I'm going to provide you with other more search uh, techniques okay which will help you to Google like a pro. So if you like this video make sure you subscribe and then you, you share and you comment.